Hi baby, I'm Rachel Nicole, I'm a pro makeup artist and this thing is literally choking me, oh my god. Welcome to part 3 of my eye shape series for the beautiful downturned eye. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do eyeshadow, eyeliner, and lashes to accentuate your downturned eyes. Scrolling on YouTube to find downturned eyeshadow tutorials was very sad. Every single video was how to make downturned eyes into fox eyes, how to uplift a downturned eye, how to make a downturned eye look like an upturned eye- No! Even looking back at my makeup school notes, it was how to make downturned eyes look more almond. And it pisses me off! What if you like the shape of your downturned eyes? What if you want to accentuate and enhance the shape of your downturned eye? What are you supposed to do then? Excuse me, I know Veterans Day is tomorrow. Jesus Christ. I don't want you to have almond eyes. I want you to have downturned eyes because that's what you have. Sorry, I'm getting heated because this is one of my biggest things as a makeup artist. So many makeup rules are about how to make a bunch of different features look like the ideal feature. Such as eye shapes, how to make every eye shape look like an almond eye. Or face shapes, how to make every face shape look like an oval face shape. Well, guess what? There is no ideal feature. Every single feature is beautiful. I don't want a different face shape. I don't want a different eye shape. I want to accentuate what I have, not try to go against it to make it look like something else. And I'm just gonna say it, these are based in whitewashed Eurocentric beauty standards that are no longer the standard anymore. I don't want them to look almond. I don't want them to look lifted. I don't want them to look like a fox eye. I want them to look like you. Okay, I'm breathing now, I'm breathing. Where I did find helpful tips for accentuating downturned eyes was TikTok. One person I found was user at Evelyn. They do an amazing job at channeling that 1930s bedroom eye that is the perfect complement to a downturned eye. So I definitely got some tips from them. Even watching TV, if I ever saw a girl with downturned eyes and makeup on, I'm like studying, like what did she do? How does she look so good? So I did my best to create a very basic, everyday downturned eyeshadow look that moves with your eye and is not going against it don't make me get angry again I have to breathe we can all rest we're not gonna try to lift I'm not gonna make you lift wait I don't want to lift screw the lift make sure to follow me on my TikTok and my Instagram I just want to say hi to all my new followers from Fenty Beauty from Fenty Beauty yeah Rihanna posted my video on her Instagram <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I literally cried and threw up and peed my pants and threw up again and peed my pants again because I was so excited. I cannot believe it. I'm crying. So hi to all my new followers. Um, thank you for joining me here. <laughs> um, yeah, it gets a little dramatic. Okay, without further ado, let's get to the tutorial. I want to give a shout out to my model today, Kayla Sieber. She is so cute. I love her. She's a musician, she was on The Voice, and she has a new song out called First Love. It's absolutely amazing. I bump it all the time. All her links will be in the description below. Okay, I'm starting with a big fluffy brush into a shade that is closest to Kayla's skin tone, and I'm going to be packing that all over the lid. This is going to set any primer or concealer we have on there. It's going to even out the skin tone, and it's letting the eye know, hey, I'm coming in with eyeshadow. See, look at the difference just there. I am taking a pencil brush into a mid-tone shade. That's any one of these. And I'm running that along the entire lower lash line. Hold on, I'm gonna change the camera angle in a second. Once I get to the corner, I am following that angle out and up to meet where our lid crease starts. Next, I'm starting at the highest point of her lid, the apex, which on a downturn eye is highest usually at the inner third of the eye. And I'm drawing a line down, following the crease to meet with our first line. Now I'm going to hug that apex, which is really gorgeous to accentuate on a downturn eye. Next, with a fluffy brush and a shade that's in between her skin tone and the crease shade, I'm just going to blend out that top line we made. I'm going to try to keep that first line less blended out because it's going to be a great mapping out for our crease. Notice how I'm still hugging that apex. Accentuating that is really, really gorgeous, people. I want you to do it. Next, I'm taking a flat, dense brush into a highlighter shade. That's where the arrow is pointing. And I'm going to be taking that all over her lid. I'm going to be bringing that right up to the crease line to really cut it, but I'm going to be focusing most of the color on the ball of her eye, that is the highest point of the eye, to really give that three-dimensional look. Taking that same brush into a shimmer shade, y'all know I love shimmer, and I'm going to apply that everywhere I put the highlighter shade. 
just as I drew a V on the outer corner with shadow, I'm going to draw a V on the inner corner with shimmer highlight. This acts as two arrows pointing in opposite directions, which elongates the eye. I'm going back in with my pencil brush just to redefine that crease line a little bit. And then I'm going to be re-blending it out as well. Always going back in, looking, see where I want to add, see where I need to blend more. Always be blending. Liner time. I used an angled brush and a flat brush, but you can just use an angled. I use gel liner. To me, that's easiest for beginners. I'm going to start by drawing the line following her upper lash line angled downward. And then I'm going to turn my brush and then draw the line up following that first line that we already made. It's already there for you. But I'm going to explain this a little bit more in depth in just a second. Hi, it's me. I'm editing. Oh my god, I'm like Emma Chamberlain, la di da Okay, I don't think you could see that well enough, so I'm going to do a visual for you. Okay, if we were to do eyeliner on an almond eye, I would just follow the angle of the lower lash line up and then go in. Okay? Ooh, pretty. On a downturned eye, though... I'm going to follow the, the angle of the upper lash line and extend that down ever so slightly and then draw a line up and then draw the line in as far as you want. This is going to move with the flow of your eye much better than if I had followed the upper lash line up because the angle of the upper lash line is dominating the angle of the lower lash line on a downturned eye. So that's just what I had to show visually. Okay, back to the video. Now I am just bringing that in. I'm not going to bring it in too far. You bring it in as far as you please. On a downturned eye, you don't have to worry about how far you bring it in. You could do as much as you want, but no, the more you bring it in, the more dramatic the look. I noticed that the liner wasn't looking super straight due to a slight hood at the outer corner. So to straighten out the line, I had her look straight and then down so I could do more of a lightning bolt liner. I have a whole tutorial on liner for hooded eyes, so check that out for something more in depth. Then I just went back in with my pencil brush to kind of smoke it out a little bit. For lashes, I am actually using these go-between flossers. Wayne Goss taught me this trick. This really grips on the lashes. I'm making a whole TikTok about it, so look out for that. For the lower lashes, I really want to sweep them out to the side. That's really going to give that bedroom puppy dog eye look that I absolutely love on downturned eyes. Me again. I didn't put lashes on Kayla because it just didn't seem like it really fit too well. But if I were to put lashes on a downturned eye, you can get away with a full strip. Usually I go half lash on everybody, but d uh, downturned and round, y'all can get away with a full strip. And same length all the way through. But what I would recommend is one that is wispier on the edges because that's going to add height here to match the height that we have here. So it's going to kind of balance out. Okay, last but not least, I'm taking a bronze shimmer and I am putting that in the cry spot. If you watch my Florence Pew tutorial, I talk about a cry spot. If you put shimmer here, it gives this cute puppy dog like you just kind of cried. It just adds this really nice little little whisper to the end of the look and there we are look at how gorgeous do you see the magic you can create when you move with the flow of your eye instead of trying to change it i think her eyes look absolutely incredible i think she looks so gorgeous 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 i hope you enjoyed okay you see that our muscles aren't sore because we weren't trying to lift <laughs> I'm not gonna get mad again I'm not gonna get mad again like I say in every video this is just my interpretation of a blueprint and outline for an everyday look you can amp it up you can take it down you can take stuff you want leave stuff you don't make it yours it's yours to play with have fun okay make sure to follow me on my Instagram and my TikTok as well links are in the description I love to get you guys involved on tutorials and looks and what I should post and when I should post and da -da -da -da, so follow me there for all of that make sure to subscribe for more videos I'm also starting a new series where I deep dive on some of my favorite makeup artists and Wayne Goss the OG is first so that video will be coming on Sunday by the way I'm posting Wednesdays and Sundays now that's the schedule Wednesday Sunday this video is on a Thursday because I got sick and whatever but from now on Wednesday Sunday Wednesday Sunday get it in your brain but turn on notifications so you know when I post <laughs> um, comment below Below what you guys think um, and which eye shape should be next I love you guys so very much I love this family and community that we're building together y'all are really cool and I love having you in my life every day truly I'm so grateful
I hope you guys have such a good day and um, okay, bye.